So you've got some historical context of where the peaks and the valleys come in and these waves of buying and selling pressure come into the market using market X factor in order to determine exactly where those uh, there, there is a high probability of a turnaround in the market. Now we've gone through, uh, we've gone through a fairly significant rally stage from 99, approximately 9930 all the way up to uh, the high, which is 11,150 or so. And we've had now, which is something very unusual, like I mentioned early in the video, that is a couple of different peaks in which the market has not had a significant drop. For example, we had we had one peak here in which mar uh, market X factor actually uh, came up to the 92 percentile level. Uh, it was uh, 92.43 percent. That at that point you would begin to look for a shorting opportunity. Uh, unfortunately, the market did pull back a little bit, but we did not see any significant selling. Nothing rose above the 80% level. We did have some selling coming into the market, uh, but then the market bounced back again, creating a second peak right in here. Not too long after it made the first peak. So we had a second peak here. Then once again, you'd be looking for an opportunity to, to go short. And you can see that actually this point provided a very nice opportunity uh, to go short when we peaked out here. And yet this was the peak of that moment showing that buying pressure was extremely weak at that point. And you could have had a nice little short opportunity here from 10,940 all the way down to 10,700. So it was a nice uh, 200, 300 point drop there. However, you can also see that we came into, we barely rose above that 80% level. And once again, buying pressure started coming into the market. And now we've had three peaks of buying pressure three in a row with rising prices. And now we have another new high, but a correspondingly low amount of buying pressure at that peak, which is really setting up for another decline. However, you can see that selling opportunities did start to come into the market, but they also did not register significant levels, which means that sellers are not willing to step up to the table yet. Now they may, and it could happen at any time, but the point is that what you want to see is after this peak, significant declines in, in buying pressure, which opens the door for the market to decline. But the fact is that that door was open and the selling pressure that came in was relatively weak here leaves open the possibility of yet a fourth rise in prices on a on significantly lower uh, buying pressure through uh, market X factor. So there is the potential for a, one more rise because we've had a peak, the market rose, the opportunity for selling came in, uh, sellers did not take advantage of that. So there is there, there is the potential for a, another rise. And um, what I would be looking for at that point is for the peak of the buying pressure to be down in this area here. So that if the buying pressure never gets above there, but we're registering a new high in the market, that is an unbelievable opportunity to go short. This was this scenario here in which we peaked out, but very little selling pressures actually come into the market over a, uh, let's see, this is a fairly significant period of time, approximately the early September, uh, late, late uh, August when we started this rally through, uh, let's say if we do hit this peak, it would be like October 22nd, which would be next Friday. If in fact we do hit that peak and we get very little buying pressure, like I said, it registers down in this area, 
uh, that's an excellent opportunity to go short. But very similar to this was the October 2008 period in which the market continued to rise, but we had multiple peaks of buying pressure. And then all of a sudden, we had a third or a fourth or a fifth a buying climax with very, uh, even though prices were, were higher, we had very little buying pressure into that, which caused the beginning of a huge wave of selling coming into the market. And so that's what I'm going to be looking for if, in fact, we might make a higher high here in the market. Now, there is a potential because uh, there is the potential for selling pressure to come into the market. Now, that could be event driven. But normally, uh, given the absence of an event of some significant nature, um, such as another terrorist attack or some other uh, natural disaster, perhaps, uh, given the absence of that type of event, then I would be looking for a peak someplace in the 11,206 to 11,256 level with a greatly diminished reading here on the buying side. Uh, represented by the blue lines. The yellow lines represent the amount of selling pressure coming into the market. In addition, we have the actual peak on the 21 period moving average of the market X factor uh, actually peaked out way over here. So those, uh, there's a, um, you know, this is, this is actually the peak of the buying pressure. There's a tremendous amount of peak and never registered above the 80 percentile level and which gives me an idea that this, this current leg up in the market is simply an absence of sellers. Sellers were just not willing to sell at these prices. But I, I think if we hit the target that I had mentioned, 11,206, 11,256, we're going to see those sellers come back into the market to take advantage of those higher prices and we're going to see a significant sell off. But what I'm looking for is again, a higher price and a significantly lower buying pressure on the market uh, X factor uh, reading. And we've already seen that even though there is uh, there is a decline here, we're still slightly above that 50% level. And you can see that as long as we stay above that 50% level, on the 21 period moving average of market X factor, there is the potential for the market to continue uh, a little bit higher. Uh, we have not seen a significant peak. Uh, this was actually the peak back here. Like I said, it's just simply an absence of selling. So as soon as we hit uh, the certain levels, I'm sure that we're going to start seeing at least a temporary, very sharp, very dramatic decline in the market, especially when you have three peaks like this with the market continued to going higher with no real buying pressure, very light buying pressure behind it. Uh, that is setting us up for a significant decline. And it has worked this way for many years. And market X factor does not lie. It tells us, you know, if there is buying or selling pressure where it's peaking, and then you start to look at higher prices, but significantly lower buying, leaving the door open for sellers to come in in a very significant way.